Na, na. What's up, everybody in mixed media girl land? It is me, not Marcy. But um, you guys have seen me here before. My name's Erica, and I am with artist Till Death. So, so right here are my handy dandy gloves. Ooh, ah. And um, Marcy asked me um, like, 17 seconds ago, not really, it was like three hours ago, if I could do a live for you guys. And of course I obliged. Um, I am Erica, obviously with Artist Till Death. And I go live on my channel uh, mostly every day at 6 p.m. Central. And so I told her I would love to help out and do some resin work for you guys. I hope that is okay. Pardon me while I get situated. I'm almost there. Wait for it. I'm situated. Hi, Sandy. What's up, fluffy giraffe? I've always thought Marcy has some amazing subscribers, so I always love coming in and pouring for you guys. So today, I'm going to be doing an ocean pour two ways. I went ahead and prepped one of my cradle boards. Ta-da, ta-da. This is like a canvas, but it's made of wood all the way around, but it's still framed like a canvas on the back, so it's easily hung on a wall. I prepped it with some spray gesso and some gold spray paint for the sand, and I spritzed a little bit into where the water will be as well so that there's a little bit extra interest in that area. Hey, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I know she already posted a video today. Clara! So many of my fam in here, which makes um, me very, very happy. I love it when people support each other across a number of channels. Sorry, I was looking for some cups, but these are the biggest ones I have. So that's what we're going to roll with today. Tink. Right? Marcy does sound a little funny. Hi, Stephanie D. I'm Erica with Artist Till Death. Hold on. Wait. There we go. That's my website, artistilldeath.com. And you can find all the pigments I'm using here as well as the board on that website. Um, if you guys stick with me through the whole video, I'll show you my face and my puppy. I went ahead and pre-mixed the resin because I didn't want um, to bore you guys with that. So the first one I'm gonna do is the wave I typically do on my channel. It's with transparent pigments. And the pigments I'm going to use are Color Obsession Bondi Blue. This is a obviously transparent because it just did. Thank you, Miss Giraffe, for putting my link up there. Um, this stuff is super pigmented, so you don't need a whole lot. So this is one drop's worth. I really want to start with a translucent, very light shade for my shoreline. And then I'm going to make it a more concentrated or darker tone as I go deeper into my ocean. Do you guys think I should add some sparkle to this? Yeah or nay? Right? It was a clean bottle. I, I wasn't sure if you guys would recognize that because usually my bottles look like this. Wait for it. How awesome. I'm not the only one. Don't judge me. Hey, Carol. Welcome to Mixed Media Girls Live. Happy to have you here and participate. Um, and then I'm going to use a darker blue. This is a Blue Lagoon, also from Color Obsession, for my deep ocean. <gasps> okay. So that happened. 
and BD and BD. We're just going to try to make it look like it was meant to be. And actually, we are going to use this board for the opaque one. We could have worked with it like that. It would have been just fine. But this one I'm going to use, um, I'm going to do opaque, and then I'm also going to do um, a something. Nope, I'm going to do a translucent, and then on the second one I'm going to do, uh, excuse me, my windows are open, so sorry about all the ruckus. Um, the second one I'm going to do with base cell activator paste. So this one's going to be a top cell ocean and the second one's going to be a base cell ocean. Nice deep blue color. It is not wrong that you want these gloves. You can actually find these gloves on my website, artisttilldeath.com. So I'm going to add a little bit of abalone shell from Resin Art. You guys may recognize that name uh, or Color Art because they're big in the acrylic pour game. And this will add just a little bit of twinkle in our ocean. We don't add a lot because we want it to still be translucent. All right, so we have our three colors that we made with just two pigments. And now we're gonna need our white. Now the type of white you use, the type of resin you use, and the heat source that you use are all important when you do a resin ocean. Well, I guess it would help if I had some resin in my cup. I'm using a little cup because we don't use that much white. You'll see it works just fine with just a little bit. The white I'm using today is Angel White from La Res. This will be the only opaque bit that I have on the board. So you can use Color Art Micas for ocean scenes as long as they're uh, acrylic ocean scenes. You can turn your color art micas into resin pigments after you make them into acrylic paint. So you would do it a lot like you would if you were mixing um, acrylics into your resin instead of pigments made for resin into your resin. So you'd want to really stick to that 10% or less rule for your uh, acrylic paints in your resin or else you could set off your resin too soon or you'll get a marshmallow fluff consistency which is uh, typically not awesome. What's up Tim? Hello everyone. Okay so first thing I'm going to do is figure out my shoreline with some clear and that will look like that. And then I'm going to take my light ocean color and come right up against our shoreline. And you guys, this next bit is going to look a little bit sporadic. It's going to look a little bit crazy, but just hear me out. Stick with me. It's not going to be a long process. I'm telling you, it's going to look amazing. You're going to love it. Just, just hear me out. Okay. Just hear me out. Actually, I'm going to make just a little bit more of that color. So I'm just going to get a couple more drippy drips of Bondi. I'm just going to loosely swirl that in so that we get a little bit more definition and nope, depth. That's the word I was looking for in our blue. I know it doesn't look cute right now, but you guys just wait for it. Becky B, thank you so much for that tip. Marcy will super appreciate it. Every channel out here, when they get donations, it always really, really helps the channel. 
um, to grow and to be self-sufficient so that the creators can post as often as possible. So on behalf of Marcy, thank you so very much. It was really kind of you. So, okay, okay. I know it looks crazy, but you guys, it's going to come together. Just wait for it. And our dark blue, right? Bondi is the best. So there's our deep ocean color. As you guys know, the deeper you get into an ocean or the deeper the water is, the darker the ocean color looks. So everywhere that there's the dark blue, in theory, the water is deeper. My fiance just walked up because I was, I, I'm pretty sure it's because I was like, okay, y'all just hear me out. It looks kind of crazy. I know it does. I know it does. I'm actually going to go ahead and pour this epoxy into smaller cups so that it doesn't set off too soon. For the second pour. All right. So we're just going to meld these in. It's a rounded term if you guys ever watch RK3 Designs channel. And all of this action isn't really going to matter all that much because we're about to swoop a wave through the whole shebang. Can you guys see that slight sparkle? Probably not yet, but you will. All right. So now I'm going to put my white where the water touches our sand. And I'm not going to put too thick of a line because you don't want to cover up all the awesomeness that you just put down. And you want to make sure that it touches both the sand and the water. Now, I'm going to use my handy dandy, trusty, superb heat gun. Wait for it. It'll be amazing. Just have to get it untangled because I'm prepared. All right, I'm here. We're here now. So I'm using a concentrator nozzle. You can also find this on my website. All right, so what I'm going to do is tilt this up just a little bit and heat it in sections. And then push my wave downward. Always keeping my uh, heat gun moving so that we don't scorch our resin because nobody likes scorched resin. So I'm going to let that go down about a third and then move on to the next bit. Preheat it and then keep it moving. So we're going to stretch our waves all the way down. And then we hit our last bit. I'm just doing really teeny tiny little baby circles so that the waves look all ripply. And I'm pretty sure ripply is an actual technical like oceanic term. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty super sure. All right, now I'm just going to keep this front bit to help get everything moving all the way down. If you don't want to do this and you like how the waves stop at the end, then by all means, just keep it however kind of rustic you like. So there we go. This is our first version. This is the translucent ocean wave. Ooh. Ah. I'm a fan. So I'm going to take this to the dust-free zone. And we'll do our second ocean wave. And then after we do both of them, I'll take you guys to the dust-free zone. And we can compare the two. And you guys can let me know which one you like the best. Capiche? Thank <laughs> you.
I just can't even handle how much I love me some sparkle like that. Okay. I'm back. Quick wardrobe change. Ba down. All right. Starting to get a little warm, but that is okay. All right, next, we're going to use some of this. We're using, I didn't get a new fresh, clean, pretty one, so sorry about that. This is Color Passion Cerulean. And if you don't know, I'm using my handy dandy reusable stir sticks. Available at .com. Shameless plug right there. And so this cerulean is going to be our base cell activator. And what that means is it has to be under the other colors to create our cells. And I know it's very counterintuitive that our base cell activator or our cell activator will be under the other colors, but it'll make sense in just a moment. So what's going to happen is I'm going to put this next to my white and I'm going to get white cells because whatever color goes on top of this one is what's going to make our, um, sorry, lost in train of thought. It's going to make our cells. It's not the cell activator color. It's the color that's next to it. Hope that makes a little bit of sense. But I think once we get everything going, it'll make a little bit more sense. Carol, thank you so much for that. Both of you tippers deserve a hype button. That happens on my channel when we get tip like that. Um, on behalf of Marcy, thank you so very much. So I'm mixing up two of this color because I'm going to drop a little bit of our other brand, our Blue Lagoon, into this to make it deeper color. I didn't really, I need to put more in there, huh? These Color Passion colorants are very, very pigmented. It doesn't take much at all. So that changed the color a little bit. Let's also just make a deep color for our deeper ocean bits. And we're actually gonna be using the same white that we used before. But what's going to give us our larger cells is the base cell activator that we have in these. Now, to work with base cell activators, they don't like as much heat as a top cell. But you can still use them. You can swipe this or you can use a heat gun like I did in the last one. So we can do it like two ways. I'll like swipe part of it and then we'll use a heat gun on part of it and you guys can let me know which one you like best. How about that? Added a little bit of abalone in here to give it some sparkle. I would put abalone in this, but you wouldn't really be able to see it because it is opaque already. All right, so just like before, Let's draw out our shoreline with some clear. I don't know if you guys can hear my little baby boy, Bowie. He is upset that he hasn't gotten his um, screen time yet, I think. All right. So just like before, we're just going to get all kinds of sloppy 
with our application for this part because it doesn't really matter. We're going to meld them together and put our wave over them. So how you lay these colors down isn't that. Um, you don't have to be too particular with it. Nancy, it's the same resin that I was testing the other day, the mystery resin. Well, thank you, Heidi. I appreciate that so, so much. Thank you, Alexandra Ross. I hope you um, check out my channel sometime. Artist Till Death is the name of my channel. Um, I will help out Marcy from time to time on her channel when she can't make it to her lives. And so, um, yeah, come check out my channel uh, if you guys have time. You guys, I don't mean to brag, but my puppy is the sweetest, cutest thing ever. I'll show you my, my little baby boy in a minute. Okay, so let's meld these out. It is going to look slightly different because we aren't using translucents. We're using more opaques, which is why I like to stick with translucents uh, when I do oceans. Because if you think about it, oceans are... Um, it's water. It's supposed to be clear, right? Okay, I'm going to wipe my hands off and we'll get down to business. I did know that um, Marcy had some new resin out. And as soon as she sends me some, I will be doing a review on that on my channel. Well, thank you, Acadian girl. I have a ton of resin pigments, glitters, etc., um, I think our pigment count is 800 plus colors. Okay, so just as before. Uh, it appears to be in the 45 minute range because it's starting to get warm on me. So I'm doing two waves on this one for no real reason. Other than I just want to. All right. So I'm going to swipe part of it. And then I'm going to. Um, torch and tilt the other part. So that you guys can see. All of the awesome different ways. You can use resin. That looks fun. Just swirled like that. I think. You can see. Okay, so I'm just going to swipe half of it. And when I swipe, I always like to lay down a piece of paper really horizontal so I can pick up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pigment. And I always take my time when I pull the paper down. This allows for maximum uh, reallocation. I don't even know if that's proper words for picking up and redistributing um, your color as you go down, right? So I'm going to hit this bit with heat so you guys can see what it looks like with just a swipe. And as I mentioned before, it's not the cell activator that gives you this, like it's not that color. So the cell activator was the cerulean blue, but the cell color is the white. So it's whatever is on top that gives you the cell color. I hope that makes sense. I can go over that again if you guys need me to, but 
it's not the cell activator color that gives you cells. It's whatever color that's on top of it. So I think I'm going to make a little bit more white, actually, because this is a little translucent in through here. Luckily, I have some resin and the white pigment on the side. I am swiping an ocean. Watch out. I usually don't do that on my channel. Okay. I'm just going to add a little bit more right in through here. Now, I'm going to do this torch and tilt just like I did on the last one. Thank you, Clara, for the clarification. There's going to preheat it. And then do our little circles just like before. Just moving our way down in sections. So when you tilt a base cell, it's going to give you larger cell structure, which you'll notice. So I don't want to get into that. The swipe wave so that you guys can just see the difference. The key here is to kind of thin out your white over your other colors. And that's what's going to give you your larger waves. I mean, your larger cell size. I'm just going to let that tilt up just a little bit. There we go. Now you can really see the double cell, the double waves we got going on since we put that clear in the middle. So it's cell, clear, cell because it was white clear white so we have the top cell and then the base cell activator cells down here the really angry ocean and then we have this um, kind of softer swipe wave I'm going to get you guys in closer to see this and then I'll take you over to our dust free zone the DFZ so you can see um, the other wave as well. Okay, sorry for all that movement. So, see here you can see the separation between this top lacing right here and the under white because that is separated by, sorry, the clear that we had in between the two waves. Ta-da, ta-da. And then all of these are cells created because of the base cell activator, that cerulean from Color Passion, which you can get on our website. Um, so you can see kind of side by side the two different cell structures. This one's smaller. These are quite large. This is more opaque. These have gotten a little bit muddy with the blue. Still looks pretty awesome. We got some angry ocean back here. but still really nice undertow looking waves, yeah? So now you have like white cells on top of white. Love that. And so here's the swiped wave. A lot more, um, looks like the bottom of a pool. In my opinion. See a little bit of that sparkle in there. So Farah, all of the color passion paste are base cell activators. Now let's, oh, that's my little Bowie. Hi, little Bowie. Okay, y'all are getting a walk through my house. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I should just do this so you guys don't see the mess in my house. Okay, so here's the first one we did up close. 
You can see all the nice sparkle, the delicate top cell lacing we've got. If you guys have ever visited my channel, you know that uh, glitter is always an option and we love our sparkle. So that's what our first ocean looks like. All the depth in there because it's translucent. So you can see all the way down to the gold splatter bits that we have in there. Super soft, right? Okay. So let's go check out this first one. And then um, you guys think I should... Um, blow out the swipe wave or just leave it? What do you guys think? Sorry for the up close of under my nose. Should I go ahead and uh, heat gun this swiped bit? Blend out the swipe wave will do oh, i gotta put bowie in his co-pilot seat i will show you guys what that looks like uh in a moment because he's always with me he's my shadow heat it up love it oh hold on blow it out that's what he said but um it's not ATD after dark over here, so. Okay. So just like we did on the first one, let's add a little bit. More of an opaque white here. Don't want to add too much because, as you can see, the white can take over if you're not careful. I'd like to hear about your CA and is the white casting cross? Sorry, I came in late. What's up to penguins painting? By the way, I'm a fan of penguins here. My little girl cat looks like a penguin. Um, the white I'm using is Larez Angel White. It is not casting craft. This is a paste. It's a lot thicker. It's a lot more opaque than casting craft. However, still a fan of casting craft. Um, but that is not the cell activator. The cell activator is actually the cerulean from Color Passion. It is the blue color. It is a base cell activator. Very different, it's not a top cell activator. All right, so let's hit it on this second bit. See if we can blend the two. Let's in one left. You may have to try to blend the two with a torch. We'll make it look good either way. So again, we want to do a little circle. So we get that ripple, riptide looking effect. Look like one piece now? Sweet. Hello, Brad. Thank you so much. Such a fan of your work. Well, thank you, Two Penguins Painting. I appreciate that. So um, if you guys like um, on my channel, I will do a more in-depth dive on the base cell activators versus top cell because they are very different in application and heat and um, the cells that they create, as you guys can see 
here. I know that uh, I showed you guys this a second ago, but I want to get thorough for people that just came in. These these cells right here are top cell only because we put a layer of clear in between um, the two waves right here. And then these larger stretched out waves are the base cell waves. They're way different, but still awesome. So yeah. So if you're resin art 20, if your heat gun doesn't have the concentrator nozzle, I have them on my website, artisttilldeath.com. For $5, um, you can get a concentrator nozzle and they're spliced on the edges so that they'll fit in most uh, any heat guns and fit on most any heat gun. You know what I mean? Words are hard. Anyways, um, no, a torch is not quite enough because it doesn't blow the heat. It just has heat because it's fire. So you can uh, disperse your resin with just a torch. But honestly, for a tilted wave like these, I really recommend having a heat gun with a concentrator nozzle. You can do it uh, with a torch. You just have to put it on a really high tilt. Um, if you guys come over to my channel, I can do a demo for you of that. Just request it because I do demo on demand quite often. Um, it, it could look like a forest. Absolutely. I have done black um, seas before. And so that would definitely lend itself to that look. Um so you can do another wave two thirds of the way up. However, come here, Bobo. This is my baby bean. He goes everywhere with me. Let me show you another uh, ocean that I've done with uh, split waves. Oh, here's one that I need to ship out to clients. Oops. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing another wave while that layer is still fluid because that the way a heat gun works, it's gonna push some of your ocean back forward instead of just allowing you to only push it backwards. So uh, I would recommend waiting for another layer. So I have cellophane under this one. This is only um, a top cell. But this is a Sorry, three layer ocean, dupe, dupe, dupe. So I waited in between each layer. I waited for it to cure uh, before moving on to this layer. You would love to see my drying rack. So my dust free zone needs a new cover over it, but I have a video on my channel of how we made it. It's just a standard shelf with, that is, not what we usually have on there, but um, my cat decided to attack my tarp, but it usually has the Velcro tarp all the way around it so that I could put it in there, close it up and not have to worry about it. But my cat um, decided to climb up the front of it. So uh, I will be putting a new one on there, but if you look at my channel, do artist till death search and then um, Gus Free Zone, you'll find how exactly we made our homemade DFZ. Uh, I do a lot of different kinds of artwork. I do geodes. I do alcohol ink. Thank you, Clara. Uh, my fiance does portraits, helmets, uh, vinyl. We do a lot of stuff here in our studio, our home studio. He's over there somewhere. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for coming in and seeing what we're up to today. I can't thank you enough for sticking around and seeing my ocean two ways. If you want to see more resin stuff that I do, please check out my channel, Artist Till Death, and you can find everything that um, I use today in our shop, artisttilldeath.com. And I hope to see you guys um, another time. Uh, let Marcy know if you liked 
uh, my video, and maybe she'll let me come guest more often. It's my baby Bowie. It's a baby Bowie? Yeah. All right, you guys. As you say on our channel, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test so you don't have to. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we said bye.